Hi, so this is my, sorry, um, second wash day with the hand, Honey's Handmade products. So, first one, I'm going to do like a ultra hydrating, hydration, hair mask, coconut water, um, two ounces. I got like the, it came with four, so I got three other ones, um, I only got one of these. It was three, four in the pack and four different um, types. So, but I'm using this one since I only have one of these. And it's the Coconut Water Ultra Hydration Hair Mask and it's strengthening coils, lock moisture, trigger regrowth, reduce hair loss, condition with ease, luxurious, silky coils. It has Organic coconut water, veggie emulsifier, um, coconut oil, coconut cream, tamanu, bamboo, maca, cucumber extract, cocoa butter, EMU oil. So I already did um, three sections. And put it on a bit water on this one, some warm water. But honey, all this hair I got, and I still got some product left. Now I thought I probably run. I was gonna do half this one and a half of another kind. But honey, people don't don't sleep on these two ounce. It goes a long way, um, especially when you wet your hair. It got it got slipped to it. Um, I'll show you guys and let me just here's the sorry. Let's see. It's white. And um I'll show you the consistency. So hold on, let me put a little warm water on my hair and I'll be back. Alright, alright, so I'm back. I just added some more warm water to it. And I must, um, I do four sections, but then I split, um, each section into two, so eight in total. So I just do that and clip this side. So I'll show you guys. So it's pretty uh loose but it has these um you can see the little white little chunks in it i'm guessing that's the coconut oil or the coconut cream chunks in it as you can see but once you rub your hands together see it they um just melt white just melt away or melt away. They don't stay chunky, so they don't. It's not nothing that will um, get stuck in your hair or anything. But you probably can't see. You can't see it. But that two ounces, honey, go a long way. I thought I needed two of them, so I was gonna use two different ones, but. It's two ounces going a long way. And I probably just, because I didn't want to run out, so I was, wasn't was doing too much of it. But, honey, about to slather this thing on. Because, like I said, it just slipped right on. And don't forget your edges. I know since I um decided to go natural, my edge has been they look like they was I guess from different protective style like braids, sewings and stuff. Edges was like in trouble. They seem like they're growing back in. So I try to get them as much as TLC as the rest of my hair. So but I mean, look at that. You can almost get like I don't know about two uses, maybe. Maybe you get two. 
Um, but I'm just put the rest of this on my head. I'm just use the whole thing. Because I got different masks to try and give my opinion on, so. Yeah. But you can see my, um, let's see if you can see my little curve. Going to get a little hydrated. You can see them. So I'm just, um, go back. Just give more love to it, and I just braid it back up. I'm gonna start on the back, but um, let's see if you can see it. See my um new growth versus my. Skin. I don't know if you can see it. Y'all can see it like in the mirror. Cause this part is about almost six months. And let's see if we can see it. It's about right there. Much growth, that much growth. Cause it's thicker and then it thins out to where my relaxing ones are. So just some, um, I used to wash my hair during the week, but it's been so hot and I feel like my, I need a little extra TLC and so, but yeah, you see it like, I'm gonna get it, need a trim soon too. So, like right there. Oh, you can see it right there, see? Hold on, you can see my new grow versus I relax ends because they not as thick as my relax hair. And uh, I don't know if you can see my nice show you. But yeah. How long you guys uh, been transitioning or how long did you transition? Did you do the big chop? Or what? Um, I think I want a little bit more length, but I may um, put it, well, do the big chop on, on my one year anniversary, which will be January the 10th, 2021. So, yeah. Alright, let's see. See the difference. Make sure you definitely get the ends. Like I said, I ain't like, look at all that that's left. Yeah. And these go a long, long way. So I'm just finish up and then um, come back with the, I'm going to wash with a cold wash and I'll show you guys which one I use. Um, and the deep conditioner I use as well that I'm going to use. Well, when I come back, I'll probably apply a couple and then show you guys. So I'll be back. I'm going to just finish applying this and I'll be back with the co-wash I use and the deep conditioner. So I'm back from washing out my co-wash I used and I used the sweet potato low poo co-wash cleansing butter. And if you didn't see my other video, I'll tell you the ingredients. Now, this the water, sweet potato root, Shea or lean, soap root, palm wax, um, yarrow flower, vitamin C, chamomile, apricot kernel, and safflower. 
So with this one, I want to know, um, it does cleanse and it's a little bit moisturizing. Um, I'm transitioning, so I have two different textures. I definitely say, I would say that my new growth is definitely more, more feel more moisturized than my relaxed ends, but, um, it didn't leave my hair super dry. Um, so yeah on that one so i decided to do a deep condition so i used the honey's handmade blueberry yogurt deep conditioning hair mask and here it is and the ingredients is, are the ingredients are distilled water aloe butter shea butter yogurt blueberry raw honey, avocado, coconut butter, and rice bran oil. So it's a mild protein, humectant, and antioxidants in it. Um, so yeah. Oh, I smell it. This is how it looks and the consistency is thick and the consistency is that. Um, I will say it got like a little blue, light blue or pinkish uh, tint to it like and it smell like like maybe like that artificial blueberry um smell not artificial but maybe they use the um like the extract or something but it smell like blueberries like kind of artificial but it may not be you know probably not artificial but it does have a blueberry smell to it so i did three sections so i'm just gonna do this section on camera so I just take a piece and clip that and it does have little specks of something in it if you can see the little specks like right there and you just rub it in and they disappear. I'm trying to get enough on that so you can see it. Uh, you can see the little dots on there. I don't want to rub them too much because then they'll disappear, but yeah, like this. So, but it, um, like I said, they melt in your hand once you rub your hands together. I just like to break each section into smaller sections so you get the product in between and not just on top of your uh, sections It smells like it smells good though. Don't get me wrong. And they definitely put enough um products in these jars to get a multiple uses out of them. Despite it being um Eight ounces. Mm. 
So what's your favorite mask to try from Handmade? Leave a comment below if you tried it or thinking about it or other products in the line that you love. Don't forget the images. They need TLC too, so I don't skimp on those. And the Nate as well. So I like to let that sit and then I um I usually will work my way back around just to get this side time enough to um marinate, seep in, whatever you want to call it, get softened up, soften up with the um product. It definitely feels good once it once you um, put it on there and get a chance to uh, do its do some work or soak into the hair. So I just add a little bit to each section just to give it a little more oomph. But so far it's, it's feeling real soft. It's moisturizing, but we'll see because the true test is when you wash it out. So, it really feels good. You can get some nape area, and I'll probably sit with this for about an hour on my head. Uh, Either I sit for an hour or I do like half and half, like sit for 30 minutes and then uh, 30 minutes or so, then probably 20 minutes uh, sit on the dryer to get it, you know, let the heat help penetrate it to my hair strands. So, yeah. So I'm gonna just do this this section and then. I'll be back. So I'm just finish up and then uh, I'll be back after I wash out. So it's been a um, it's been a couple um days since I had um washed my hair and put it in these um braid outs and then I use the palm rod to curl the ends you can see so the product so I let my hair um air dry like 80 percent um and then I went in with the Melba's hair stuffing delicate delicate daily moisturizer and this is how much I used I used it. This is my third time. Oh no. Maybe my fourth or fifth time. So that's how much I use. Maybe it's fifth time. So I got a couple more uses out of it. It smells like apple, apple cinnamon. I'll show you pictures too. You can see. So I put that on first and then. I use the vanilla mint castor curling jelly and show you. So I use not too much, maybe like uh so far I got half a jar left, but I used it multiple times with the um moisturizer and it smells like those um, chocolate chip mint Girl Scott cookies. So this, I love this combo for a braid out. I just use those two. And then I show you guys, take it down, show you guys the results. 
Right. So I just braided with those two on and then put a perm rod at the end and just um, left them overnight. Oh, you can see. Great definition. My hair feels moisturized. Now, hold on, let me show you the oil that I used to um, put on it. So, before um, taking this down, I applied the honey walnut. Shea sealing syrup. So that's why you didn't see me um put oil on my hands to take it down because I had already applied some of this to it as well. And I've been using it, so I haven't used about that much. And this one has shea butter, black walnut, honey, quake, polysorbate 80, olive oil, and castor. So oh, let me see, I just started taking another one down. So I just want to show you guys what I'm going to do. So what I do is I just take it down and I just um pick out my roots and then just wear it like that. I'm going to show you guys. I'm transitioning, so you can see braid outs or um, I'm six months post relapse, so braid outs and roller sets work for me to hide my different textures. So those ones I do. So I don't separate them or um, once I take them out, I just leave them like it is. I don't separate the um, different braid sections, like three different. I just, so yeah, see a little shine to them. Half of it is very soft and moisturized. Sorry, my AC is about to kick on. So I just want to show you guys um, what it looks like when I take them down. So yeah, I'm going to take the rest down. And I just usually rock it like this. I might put a headband on or something, but I usually rock it like this. So, so I just want to show you guys a little bit of it. So, yeah. so I just um, like I said, I go in and just pick, go like that, or I just don't disturb the curls from the braid out. All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time on reviewing. Some more of the handmade products as well as other um, hair products. But right now, I just wanted to check out the Honey's Handmade um, product line, hair product line. So, it's black on. Check them out. I like their products so far. So, see you next time.